Last week, the leading all-in-one video software provider, Vimeo, has gone public, entering the Nasdaq market. Their 16-year-old journey has involved numerous ups and downs, and from being traditionally seen as an unsuccessful competitor of YouTube, a lot of credit goes to Anjali Sood, and her team, for landing Vimeo in the situation it is in today. For Vimeo, the journey began in 2004, when Jake Lodwick and Zach Klein started the venture as a platform to share short and funny video clips among friends. When Interactive Corp acquired Vimeo in 2006, it made them do what many still perceive them to be doing today, dash countering YouTube, using curated HD videos. For a significant part of their venture, they were doing exactly that, and even became the world's largest, at free online video streaming service. And in 2017, Anjali Su took over as the CEO, and for the past four years, Vimeo has adopted a different strategy, in another direction. Vimeo has moved on to a subscription model, where users are offered professional tools, to shoot and edit videos, and publish them anywhere. This lets them move on from considering platforms like YouTube and Facebook as their competitors. And the reason is those platforms have become destinations for people to come to watch videos. Um, and what we're doing is really enabling more creators to make content and then put that content out into the world. And that includes on their own website, as well as on social media platforms like Facebook and YouTube. And um, we've even built integrations that allow you within Vimeo with one click to natively distribute your videos mm. onto those platforms. So they really are partners. And the more that we succeed in enabling content and creators, the more that they succeed. Vimeo's sales increased by roughly 57% between the first quarter of 2020 and the first quarter of 2021, rising from $57 million to $89.4 million. That's a strong growth rate, but it's not surprising given how much digital video the globe consumed during the COVID-19 outbreak, which might have boosted the company's recent performance. During the same period, Vimeo's gross profit increased from $38.6 million to $64.5 million, a 67% increase. As can be seen from the faster rising gross profit than sales. Vimeo's gross margins increased from 68% to 72% in the first quarter of 2021, compared to the first quarter of 2020. This brings us to the events of last week, when the Interactive Corp arranged a spin-off for Vimeo. And so, Anjali completed the iconic ceremony of ringing the bell at Nasdaq market site, taking the company public. On their Nasdaq debut on Tuesday, shares of Vimeo were down by 9.5%. Vimeo's stock began at $47.15 a share, down from $52.08 on Monday. On Tuesday, its shares fell to $44 per share. And, you know, we're not too worried or concerned about the stock right now. We really think about this market and this business in decades, not years. We're just getting started. We've got great momentum in revenue, profitability, margins. Um, and, uh, and most importantly, we're building. We launched new features last week. We'll continue to do that this year. We see the demand from businesses for video to continue to be high. Um, and so we just feel like we're coming into this from a position of strength and we're energized. Irrespective of the pathway that the company undertook, the platform today has over 1.5 million customers, and the move is appreciated among the entrepreneurs community. We hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. You can also read the full article by clicking the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos like this. Until next time, take care and stay safe.